Now summer is a f officially here and that means that it's officially lobster season. Demand for seafood is at an all time high. Joining us this morning is Chris Welch, a multi generational Maine lobsterman who has been fishing since he was just six years old. Good morning, Chris. Happy, happy lobster season. Good morning. How's everyone today? Good, good. Thanks so much for, for being here with us. Now, more and more folks are considering sustainability and environmental factors when, uh, when making decisions about their food. So how does Maine lobster stack up with all of this sustainable food? Well, as an industry, we pride ourselves in harvesting a very sustainable product by hand, one trap at a time, the same way that it's been being done for about 150 years. And why are these practices so important to you and to the folks who are actually buying uh, the lobster from you? Well, what's pretty neat about us is uh, we're a single boat, single owner fishery. We're not a factory at sea. So what we do is we maintain a great product, very sustainable, and it, uh, in the end it comes back and supports our community and locally. And how does the main industry, you know, make sure that the they offer quality products uh, that they're they're putting out for everybody to buy? Well, one way that we maintain a quality product is uh, is our sustainability practices. Um, not every lobster that we catch in our trap comes home with us. We return way more lobsters to the ocean than we keep. Where anything that's small or too large goes back as well as egg-bearing females, that maintains that we bring home a quality product each and every day so that it can be reached out to the consumer. And there's also a lot of uh, talk, too, about the North Atlantic right whales is critical as well, correct? Yeah, that's right. So uh, right now we're going through quite a bit of uh, information and a lot of learning with those. Um, to be clear, no Maine lobsterman ever wants to harm a whale, especially not a North Atlantic right whale. Um, we want to coexist, and in the past, in the past 20 years, probably we've done a lot of different things to maintain and attempt to get along friendly with these whales. Uh, we've done such things as removing floating line and. Uh, and different types like that. So we're looking forward to maintaining that practice and uh, continuing to get along. Now, obviously, when people think Maine, they think Maine lobsters. They think going up to, to Maine to get a great uh, lobster dinner as well. So, so um, how are the, the people who are actually out dining uh, researching this and making sure that they're getting what they're paying for? Yeah, so. Uh, so different things you can do is um, we have a, a website so you could look ahead if you're planning a trip, lobsterfrommaine.com. That gives you a pretty good idea of where, um, where you might want to look for lobsters and it might give you a little bio on the people that are catching those lobsters. And, uh, and in return, it all comes back to supporting that individual community and, uh, and we'd love to have all the visitors we can get. That's right. Now, what, doing what you do is not an easy job at all. You're out there all times of, uh, all times of day uh, getting these lobsters. So, so what is a typical day for you, and, and how's, how's the, uh, the lobster uh, season been so far? So what I do is a labor of love. You know, if you love what you do, you don't work a day in your life. I uh, wake up every morning, go to work, love what I do. Uh, so far, we haven't hit peak season. That's coming right up pretty quick. Um, we're looking forward to a healthy harvest uh, and being able to produce a great sustainable product for, uh, for all our consumers and to maintain for the future. Well, thanks so much for being on with us. And like I said, it is a, it's a tough job out there every single day getting the, uh, the food that everybody loves. So thanks for doing uh, what you do. Yes. Hey, thank you for having me. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys in the future. Mm -hmm. People from Rhode Island will be up there. Uh, all great information as folks start to gather for those clam bakes and outdoor lobster dinners.